Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe here at Maui Game Studio. Today we're going to do parallax mapping with no plugins for RPG Maker MV or MZ. It may work in the earlier versions of RPG Maker, it may not. Okay, so what do you need? Uh, you basically need two things. You need RPG Maker MV or MZ, either one or both, whatever, and you need an uh, image editing program. I'm going to use Krita in this example. Krita is a free program. It's open source that you can use uh, for editing images. You could use Photoshop to do the same thing. I'm just gonna use Krita because it's free. So let's go ahead and start a new RPG Maker project. Okay, so it's gonna open up my existing project. I'm not gonna do it on this project. I'm gonna make a new project. We'll call this YouTube project. So we're creating a new project here. Now, the first thing you need to do is check what the resolution setting is for your game. So we go into our database here, click the little gear, go into system one, I mean system two, just joking. Now as a disclaimer for this, any plugin that will change the resolution of your game, if you are using a plugin like that, you will have to find a different way to do this because you'll have to use that other plugin to adjust your resolution. But you just need to know what your outputted resolution of your game will be. In this case, it's 816, we're just going to screenshot this. So we're going to do some math here. So the resolution, right, is 816 wide. This is the width um, by 624. And what we need to do in order to do parallax mapping with no plugins, you need to have the map be either smaller or the same size as this resolution. Now, forgive me, I'm going to do some math here. So let's pull out the old calculator, and we're gonna divide 816 by 48, and that's 17. So that means that the picture has to be 17 tiles wide, exactly. And we'll do 624 here, divided by 48 again. And that's 13. When I make a new map here, I go back to RPG Maker, 17 by 13. What a coincidence. What a coincidence, right? So. What's going on here is the default map size, if you use the default resolution, uh, it'll be the exact size you need, 17 by 13. Now, if you change the resolution, it's fine. It'll work with whatever. RPG Maker MZ actually supports other resolutions. Here, if you look, uh, well, it supports other resolutions, but it also supports additional tile sizes. If you look here, you can adjust the tile size, right? Um, into another one and then if you do that you just have to make sure that whatever the width and height are they're divisible by whatever tile size so just to kind of throw that together so you understand what I'm saying because a lot of you might not be as familiar with RPG Maker as I am if we take this 816 here and we divide it by 32 which is another optional tile, it'll be 25.5. What does this tell you? If you do a 32 by 32 tile size, 32 by 32 will not work. You'd have to make it 25 by 19 and then you'd have like a black border around the edge. So you could do it with 32 by 32 tiles at this resolution. You also could change this resolution so that it uh, divided into a whole number. You can't have a decimal or a fraction, but you can do uh, 16 or uh, 24, and that's because 24 uh, is divisible. So if the tiles were 24, it would be twice 17, which is 34 by 26, right? And you can, you can actually do 16, which would be 51 by 39. Now you, you can change the resolution so it works. We're gonna go ahead and create the map. Let's make it, we're gonna go in Krita here. Krita. So we need to make a new file and we need to make it the resolution that we're using 816 by 624. 816 by, so the width is 816 and the height is 624. Okay, so here is our map. And just so we have a guide, we can add grids. Okay, here we are. View, show grid. To adjust the grid, okay, you go to dockers and then grid and guides. Click this. And 
from there you go to the grids down here in the bottom right you can't see it here I'll move the window so you can see it it's right here in the bottom right grids and guides and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the X spacing 48 the tile size by 48 and then there's no subdivision and if you see it now that we created those grids each one of these squares represents a tile so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a walkway this is just a real elementary map just so you can understand what I'm doing we're just gonna paint do some paint in here leave a comment if my art offends you didn't have time to go generate something with the AI <laughs> okay so here's my map we're gonna save this file export I actually don't even know where I left my project, so I'm going to go find out real quick. You come over here to Game, Open Folder. So it's in Resources by Others, Default. Wow, this is in like a random-ass place. Uh, let's just copy this. Back to Krita. Paste it here. Okay, now that I'm in the, the base directory of my image, uh, we go into IMG, then Parallax, and I'm going to save it, Maui Game Studio, let's go, save, so I come back to my game here, right, and I have to make sure that there is no, nothing on the tiles, so just basically clear out the map, right, clear it out, Is, and then we're going to add a parallax map. So edit, uh, parallax background. So that's another thing. Make sure you save it as a PNG. Forgot to mention that. Come back here, edit the image. Parallax background, Maui Game Studio. Okay, cool. Now if we play, you can see we have this. I can't actually walk unless I hold control, right? Which is fine for now. But we have to make it so we can walk on it. And usually for me in my game, I use RPG Maker MV and I use region restrictions. It's a plugin, but you don't need to do that. There, there are ways around it. We just have to customize the tile set a little bit. So let's just add a, a thing. So we'll just add a walkway here over it. I'm gonna test this, make sure it works. Obviously this is gonna work. Cool. So what we wanna do is we wanna get rid of this tile set. We just have to go open the, the tile in Krita that creates this tile. Still have that address in the clipboard. I click it to get to my project. IMG, tile sets, and this is this one right here. Okay, so it's overworld, it's world A2. So I gotta open world A2. And it's this one right here. So let's open this. And basically, if I wanna delete this from showing up, I just come in here and erase it from existence. Eliminate you from existence. Let's show grid. This helps too because you can see where they line up. So we can show the grid the same way as we did before just so I can very quickly identify where the borders are so I don't accidentally mess up the other tiles. And then we just save after I've deleted it. And what this will do, when I switch maps, it'll be invisible again. And whenever I use this blank auto tile over here, I'll be able to walk on it, and I can't walk outside of it. So here we have a perfectly parallaxed map, no plugins. Easy peasy, works for MVMZ, probably the other ones too. And I tried to do this video fast, but, you know, I'm not perfect. But that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a follow and all that stuff or subscription. Whatever you do on the YouTubes. Talk to you later.